So what is up everyone? This is Ken here. Welcome back again to Tech Karen YouTube channel. So finally, if you're looking for something interesting, almost perfect, this might be a very good choice for you. If you're a Redmi Note 8 user, go and try out this build for sure. We're talking about Pixel 6 Pro Ported Room based on Android 12 for Redmi Note 8 users. This is of course a ported room, but it's ported from Pixel 6 Pro. Your device will be considered as Pixel 6 Pro and all the interesting features from Pixel 6 Pro are already there. Of course, some features which are device specific will not work for you, but this looks quite good. In the terms of performance, what I saw, it's great. And if you're able to see the quick settings panel, the black background is everywhere because it is stock Pixel 6 Pro OS. It is not a modified one. It's not a customization based. So it's all the things which you get in that stock Android. Well, everything is here. If you're not interested in customizations or if you're not into the customization things, then you can definitely give it a try. This is a very good choice. This is actually a very good choice as I'm using Redmi Note 8 from a long time and very weird time, very, very, very rare time. I just got the good performance and this OS what we are getting right now. The power menu also has the black background and you have the option to access wallet and device controls. You can add those controls here. But you can customize the power menu also. I think so. I made a video on that. If you want to check it out, you can. Let's move on to some features or customizations which you get as I previously mentioned it is stock Android 12. So I'm not talking about the customizations which you get in custom rooms as it is stock one, but some useful features, some cool features which you get in Android 12. Everything is there for you. As I previously mentioned, your device will be considered as Pixel 6 Pro. And so whatever app you will open, that app will consider your device as Pixel 6 Pro. All things are here. You can give it a try if you want to. Monitor theming is working and if you're able to see, this is hey google what i'm using right now and it's just working perfectly fine that's actually quite good no bugs there if you want to access hey google it's just working perfectly fine i think so it's good enough and yes i think so you'll also use this thing you in, in your device if you want to this is what i was talking about if you move on to the app section and assistant section you can simply configure the option called say hey google and if you configure this then you don't need to swipe from the bottom or swipe from the left side right side wherever you can simply speak hey google and it will be considered as that that's actually quite good in very rare case you get this option game settings the game dashboard option is also there in some custom rooms i saw the feature was missing from there for example even the octavio os experience project superior os Whatever custom rooms I've tried, the option was missing from there, but that's present there. Including that the Xiaomi parts is also included. The new Xiaomi parts is included, where you have the Mi Sound Enhancer, of course, which is quite useful. If you want to give it a try, you can choose headphones type default or choose a preset. It's up to you. Like that Xiaomi Doors, which is actually ambient display, which is always on display, but I will not recommend you. And I'm not sure if it is working for you or not, because this is not kind of that useful. What is useful is you have the option of choosing the display color calibration. That's actually quite useful because of the display of Redmi Note 8. That's quite useful and including that the clear speaker option is also useful. USB fast charge is as always my favorite. So that's also there. If you want to try out, you can. Other things, let's just talk about some things in display settings. As I previously mentioned, you don't get any kind of features or customizations, but increased touch sensitivity. If you watched my previous videos on the developer preview one, developer preview two, beta one, beta two, there, those were the ports from these devices. So yes, the features are that kind of same. Wallpaper and style, of course, you have the monitor theming, which you get in Pixel 6 Pro. And that's by default with Android version 12. That was introduced in Android 12. So the things would be there. These are there. Including that if you're able to see, as I've enabled the themed icons, which is just working perfectly fine. But including that if you want to check out the app grid, or you can if you want to check out these grid sizes, these are customizable, which means I think so. They have the modded pixel launcher. If I'm not wrong, the things are kind of same. If you want to customize that, you can. Maybe there, there would be some extra themed icons for you i'm not sure about that but yes you can give it a try if you want to so basically things are quite good things are actually quite useful and this port adaptive preferences of course adaptive battery adaptive charging the both features are quite useful if you want to give it a try you can i think so it's good enough for your device as i previously mentioned you i will not recommend you to use these things as a daily driver but if you want to you can
Some pixel features are also there, for example, the live caption, which is very useful. And if your device does not have these pixel features, or if you're using AOS P Android 12, the Magisk module to get these pixel features, the extra pixel module, I made a video on that, maybe available on my Hindi channel. If you want to check out that, you can. These features you can get on AOS P Android 12. But by default in Redmi Note 8, in this version, you have all these features included for you. If you are interested in Pixel ports or Pixel 6 OS stock, OS stock, Android 12, then you definitely need to try it because some custom homes always has some customizations, some modifications, some changes. And if you don't want those changes, you want stock feel, then this is a very good choice. I think so. It's good because I'm using it sometime. You have the new, your new adventure sound from Pixel Sound. And I have noticed even after updating the sounds app, I didn't got this option, this kind of ringtone in other devices. I'm not sure though why, but yes, I didn't got. The Gcam also is working perfectly fine. And let me tell you one thing that you don't get any kind of camera pre-installed. If you are looking to use MIUI camera, you will not be able to. And even the ANX camera is not compatible with Android 12 yet. We are looking for that, but it's not compatible yet. The Gcam, yes, it's working fine. The Gcam which I'm using right now, as I previously mentioned, I always use this Gcam in all my devices, all my custom homes. And only this Gcam is just working perfectly fine. You can head over to Tech Current Cloud channel on Telegram. You will definitely find this. I have already shared with you every time. If you want, still want the link, you can comment below. I'll try to provide you that link also. The features are kind of same in this Gcam, but looks quite useful. And as I previously mentioned, it's actually compatible with a lot of customs, a lot of devices. This is why I just love to use this. A lot of Gcams are, of course, there. If you still want to try out some other modes, you can because you don't get any kind of camera pre-installed. So it's up to you. Including that, if you want to check out the safety net status, uh, the safety net status also does not have any kind of issues. By the way, it depends upon you that if you want to root your device or not. Some users don't want to root. I sometimes don't root my device if I don't have any kind of backup with Migrate or else. I sometimes don't root my device. So if I don't root my device, safety net status should be passed. It is passing. But if you want to root, you can simply hide matches from settings. And I think so. You are good to go. Everything else is just kind of same. Let's just take a small look at Geekman score also. This does not matter a lot by the way, but still if it matters for you, the Geekman score doesn't seem to be that good. My device is too old right now and uh, maybe this was the reason 299 is a single core score and 1234 is a dual core score, multi core score. So I'm not sure the why, but these were things I just want to let you know if you want to install this link is in the description. Goodbye, have a nice day. Like I'm floating through the air